What's up guys? TD here bringing you our dual guide to Balrock and Firelands. Oh Balrock, how I hate thee. <laughs> this guy gave us quite a bit of trouble. He has a couple things that he does that really really suck and there's only a couple ways to deal with them and it can be really tricky. First off, Shards of Torment. If you're doing this with more than just yourself, if you're doing it in a duo, a party, whatever, he throws these shards. Now, at first we thought you had to stay close to him because in the dungeon journal it says, you know, if somebody's not near him, they explode dealing damage, blah, blah, blah. But what we learned was that they channel into people nearby them, or at least whoever's nearby them, which increases their damage taken by a ton. So it actually was way better to just have everybody get away from it and just let it explode for its 15,000 damage every second or whatever it was than to deal with that debuff that it gives. Because with that debuff, Corvina was dying within like the first 30 seconds of the fight because that debuff was insane. So we just stayed away from them and didn't even deal with them. Now the hardest part about this fight is his blades. He will periodically switch between two different blades. And the first one's not so bad, it's Inferno Blade. It just basically makes his attacks do straight fire damage. And it's a lot, I mean, unmitigated it's like 150, 175,000 damage, it's a lot. So I just pop Anti-Magic Shell to deal with that. It'll usually take the first two to three swipes down and damage and we'll help out with that and you can live through that with your self-healing no problem but the other one that he does is nasty and it is <laughs> it can be a one-shot ability and i got one-shotted by it the first several times we did this and this time i actually got really lucky it's decimation blade and basically it hits you for like 90% of your maximum health. And I use Anti-Magic Shell to deal with the first one. See, it just hit me for like 1.8 million damage. And what you have to do is it also does a healing debuff when he hits you with it that lasts like half a second before he does the next one. So within that half a second you have to heal your health back up. Otherwise he'll hit it with you again and kill you. Um, this case I was lucky and I parried it and it was no problem. <laughs> but if not, you have to wait that half a second and get that heal off. And that's really the hardest part of the fight. You can see he's dead already. He's not that bad of a fight. But that Decimation Blade can and will one-shot you so easily if you don't get a lucky parry or dodge. So you have to time that heal to come off right as that debuff leaves you before he hits you with the next decimation blade. But that's it guys, thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. And I'm gonna get the rest of the Firelands bosses up soon and I will see you on the next video.